The next dragon poem is called My Dragon Wasn't Feeling Good. There he is. My dragon wasn't feeling good. He had a nasty chill and couldn't keep from shivering. I saw that he was ill. His eyes were red and watery. His nose was running too. His flame was but a fizzle and his cheeks were pallid blue. I took him to a doctor just as quickly as I could. A specialist in dragons and she's in our neighborhood. She took his pulse and temperature, then fed him turpentine and phosphorus and gasoline. My dragon's doing fine. He's taking his medicine. The next poem is called I Have a Dozen Dragons. And there it is. A dozen means 12. She has 12 dragons. I have a dozen dragons. I bought them at the mall. I keep them in my closet. It's fortunate they're small. Their horns are red and silver. Their scales are green and gold. And all of them are beautiful. And all of them are bold. They eat vanilla ice cream and pickles mixed with ink. They run around the kitchen and jump into the sink. They splash about the basin and flap their silver wings while breathing tiny fires that never burn a thing. When we go out on weekends and stroll around the block, the neighbors stare in wonder. They seem to be in shock. I may not have a puppy, a kitten or a bird, but I'm the only one I know who has a dragon herd. She's taking them all for walks on their leashes. I wonder if those leashes ever get tangled up when those dragons start flying. It looks like she's flying 12 dragon kites, doesn't it? 